Hello, so this is going to be a quick video. One of the most asked questions is how do I keep my existing save? Because um, when you're transferring my save over, it's, it's overwriting your save, so it's really simple. So if we go to uh, load game, so this, this save here, obviously that's my save, but um, oh my god, sorry about that noise. I've got the Gran Turismo 7 AFK money thing running in the background, so sorry about that. Um, so this save here, let's just pretend this is your save game in your profile. This is the one that you want to keep. So you want to use my save, but you don't want my save to overwrite your save. So basically what you need to do before you start the process of transferring the save over is just to create a new save. So uh, let's do this. Uh, New save. Come on. So, uh, quick game. Okay, so now what we're going to have is you're going to have your own personal save up the top, which you want to, which you're wanting to keep. You're wanting to use my save. Um, so what we've done is we've created a, a new save game here, which is the one that's going to get overwritten. Now we're going to just quit the game and then you're just going to follow the process from the guide. So we've downloaded my save here from the Nexus and you've downloaded the, the save copier as well which I've got in here. So source file again that's going to be my save which you've downloaded so if I've got this on my desktop here. Destination file, this is going to be your Elden Ring uh, save, which is in the save folder. Where is it? So your Elden Ring save folder will be users, your name, app data, roaming, Elden Ring. There's your save. So the difference Previously we just hit copy, but if you go to the copy to section, you'll actually be able to select. So you want to select the new save that you've just created and that's going to be the one that's going to be overwritten and then copy. And then if we go back in. There we go, so we've got the save which you did not want to lose, still at the top, so that will be your own personal save game that you didn't want to lose, and then you've got my save which has been overwritten on the, the new one that you created. Now you can you can complete, you can repeat this process. Some people have said like how do I put your save into every slot, well that's how you do it. You just create another save game and then you just select the one that you want to overwrite. And it's as simple as that. Um, so I had to make the video, there was so many people asking. Um, so thanks for watching.